Hi everybody, it's Dr. Selfridge. We're here with another tutorial. We're gonna learn how to play Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter on the flute. And we're using, for this tutorial, a really amazing flute channel. It's called Flutorials. So if you haven't checked out this channel, you should go check out their YouTube channel. They have a lot of really great videos and songs for flute. Check out their channel, make sure you subscribe, and of course, if you're not subscribed yet to Dr. Selfridge, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell for our channel. Let's dive right into the beginning of this tutorial, and what they always do first on this channel, which is really helpful, is we play the song slowly, and they have these really great graphics which show us which keys to press down on the flute. So I'll start by playing that, and you can try to play along. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so that was the full song played at a slower tempo. So there's a few tricky notes in there, some things I want to point out to you to help you play this song on your own. What I'm going to do is play this song phrase by phrase. We'll break it down into shorter phrases. I'll give you some quick tips, some helpful things on how to play these notes, and then we're going to play the next part of the video, which is the full play along at the full tempo. So our first phrase is going to start on this low E, and we're going to stop again on this low E down here. We're going to leave off this E at the very end because this right here is really part of the next phrase. We're going to save that for next phrase. Most of the notes in this phrase are pretty straightforward, nothing really different. Uh, you might need to look up some of these notes and that's totally fine. I want to point out one right here, A flat, which you might not know. A flat on the flute is your thumb, one, two, three, and our pinky right here. We also call this note sometimes G sharp. It's the same note. So thumb, one, two, three, pinky, that's your A flat. And then of course the next note we have is a B flat, thumb, one, one, pinky. So here is phrase one. So now we move on to the next eight measures and we start on this E that we left off of phrase one, but we continue to the next page and we have eight more measures here. There are some tricky notes in this phrase, so let's take a look. When we get right here, look at this, we have F sharp and then F. So just to review, F sharp is thumb, one, two, three, and your third finger on your right hand and your pinky on the E flat key. That's F sharp. And then it goes straight back to a regular F or we would call it F natural. So we go from F sharp here with your third finger and we replace it with the first finger to make our normal F natural. Next we have a C sharp and that's the same as D flat. That's the no fingers note. The only finger we press down is our pinky on the E-flat key, and we literally don't press down any other fingers. This is C-sharp. Two more slightly tricky notes I want to point out. We have our E-natural to E-flat, so we probably know E-flat from our beginner songs. E-flat is thumb, two, three, one, two, three, pinky, no first finger. This is our E-flat in the fourth space but then it jumps right down to a low E flat, down an octave, and we do have to change our fingers for this. The upper E flat is no first finger. The lower E flat 
you add your first finger. And that's pretty much all the tricky spots in phrase two. Now let's try playing phrase two. And again, we're going to use the play along from the tutorial. Here we go. Phrase three, eight more measures, and there's really nothing new in this phrase. So we're just going to go ahead and play this. And once again, we're leaving off the final note because that's part of the next phrase. Okay, here we go with phrase three. Now we're on the fourth and final phrase of the song. Once again, this phrase starts on the last note of the last phrase that we left off. And we take a look at our new phrase and there's really nothing new here. It's kind of stuff that we've already done in previous phrases. Like right here, we have our chromatic phrase from G, F sharp, F. And we have this C sharp here, which is our no fingers note, right? Just your pinky on the E flat. Here's our upper octave E flat to low octave E flat, ending with our A at the end. So nothing really new in this phrase. Let's give it a try. And once again, we're starting on the C from the previous phrase. Here we go, fourth and final phrase. Okay, we've broken down the song into our smaller phrases. We had eight measures, eight measures, eight measures, eight measures. We're going to put it all together and we're going to play the full song along with the Flutorials play along track here on the video. All right, so let's give it a try. And that was Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter on the flute. And we were using this really great tutorial from the Flutorials YouTube channel. Check out their channel, make sure you subscribe. And while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching everybody, now go practice.